Look at these fluffy scrambled eggs on that Blackstone griddle, man. I'm telling you, scrambling eggs is so easy on this griddle. So it was an early morning, man. My kids had a sleepover, and I threw down some breakfast. Got that Blackstone heated up with some cooking oil. And then I threw down some bacon. And I tell you, there's nothing like the sound of bacon sizzling early in the morning. Especially outside on your patio when the roosters are crowing, the cars are going by, the birds are chirping. It's just lovely. So I laid all these pieces of bacon out like this, let them start to sizzle. And as I started to see them curl up a little bit, that's when I knew it was time to flip. You can see the bacon easily pulls from the griddle because the meat releases from the griddle as it sears. So just kept looking at them individually and started flipping them all over. Lovely sounds of a snap, crackle, and pop. Look at that right there. It's been real easy to adjust the heat on this thing. You know, it doesn't get out of hand even at a high heat. I really like that about it. I swear if you listen closely, you can hear one of them roosters. Did you hear? <laughs> so look, I'm checking the heat right here just to make sure things aren't getting out of hand. It's kind of steadily staying around a 300 to 350 degree range. Just slowly sizzling up this bacon. There's that rooster again, I'm telling you. Getting it nice and crispy, man. Everybody likes crispy bacon in this house, so, you know, just sizzling it up real slowly. And right at about this point, I could tell things were looking good and it was about time to take it off of the griddle. So I just get a plate with some paper towels and just start removing it. Now, if you don't like your bacon extra crispy, then you'll need to pull it a lot earlier, or at least a little bit earlier. You know, sometimes it, it could look a little underdone. That's probably a good time to pull it because it's going to continue to cook on the paper towels. But that's some crispy bacon right there. Looks good. So at this point, I went ahead and scraped the griddle, got some of that bacon residue off of the griddle. I know some of you are probably like, oh man, that's flavor. Yeah, sure, but the more this stays on there, it's going to burn to the bottom. So you want to get this up so you can move on to your next cooking items. So I took a dry paper towel to the griddle, wipe up some of this grease. But I did leave a thin layer on there for the sausage patties. I really love these things, man. All you got to do is basically reheat them. They're already pre-cooked. There's these little Jimmy Dean sausage patties. Just layer them all down in rows of four and brown them up on each side. After they sit for a little bit, you give them a flip, and there you go. Got a nice little gold color on one side. Man, this thing will make your whole patio smell like a diner. <laughs> Look how pretty, man. God, I love these little sausage patties. And picking them up is pretty easy, man. You just take the whole spatula and slide on through. Now, in this first round there, I missed one of them, but... It was all good. I got it real quick. And then I was able to swipe the rest. All four at one time. And put them on the plate. Whoop! <laughs> God, man, I love these things. Look how good. So I scraped the griddle once again to get up some of the residue that's built up from the sausage and the bacon. Because I'm going to be doing eggs next. Once I got it all into that drip back there. I then turned the griddle off and wipe it down once again with a dry paper towel. There's going to be a thin layer of grease, which is perfect. And there's also going to be residual heat. As you can see, it's still 300 degree range. So I go ahead and melt two tablespoons of butter into a big circular area. Then I drop my eggs in a little bit at a time. If you pour all of it too much too fast, it's just going to go everywhere. It could even drip down that back drain. You don't want that to happen. So I just kind of gently push them as I'm adding a little bit. That residual heat is cooking these eggs. And it's doing it at a slower pace so you don't burn your eggs. So what you want to do here is gently fold, all right? Gently fold the eggs. Every time you're dropping eggs and you're pushing it back to the center, I'm gently pushing and folding. That's all I'm doing. I'm not chopping it up. I'm just gently pushing and folding eggs, and that is how you will get nice, fluffy eggs. So I push it up right here. Get it nice and centered. As they come together in that middle, that's when you're gonna wanna start kinda getting underneath it and then folding them over. Fold over and let them cook. Just like that. Look how pretty that is. A nice fluffy pile of eggs. 
So just so you know, prior to cooking, I did season these eggs with some paya seasoning. And they taste amazing. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A full-on breakfast, some fluffy scrambled eggs, some browned up sausage patties, some crispy bacon, and of course some biscuits we did do in the oven. But you can do those in the air fryer too. If you're interested in any other kind of cooking I do, just snag my cookbook over at CajunNinjaBook.com.